Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk here. Today we're going to go through this trigonometry problem solving question to do with bearings. So have a go at it first and then um, watch how I do it. So there are three towns labeled A, B and C. Town A is located at a bearing of 130 degrees from town B. And the distance between town A and B is 20 degrees. So let's draw that. So let's draw a point call it town A. Actually, I might draw town B first. Now, a bearing of 130 degrees just means that it is 130 degrees from the north. So this is a bird's eye view and I have town B as a dot and north is uh, up. So 130 degrees from the north will probably be a little bit over 90 degrees. So we can call this 130 degrees and the distance is 20 kilometers so say this is 20 kilometers and this distance is 130 degrees and we have town B uh, uh, sorry town A over here All right, 130 degrees from town B yeah so uh, the distance is 20 kilometers and I have town A here Town C is 25 kilometers from town B, so town B again is the starting point. 25 kilometers from town B along a bearing of 60. So I'm going to draw another line. I'll use a different color. So town B to town C is a little bit further, so the line will be a little bit longer than that. Alright, and I end up at town C and the bearing is 60 degrees so this angle here is 60 degrees find the bearing of A from C so um, so from town C I have the north I have the north and I need to find the angle of the line between the north to town C so um, it's this angle here. I need to know what that angle is. That's basically the answer. Okay, so now that we have a diagram, um, what do we have? The distance, oops, forgot to label the 25 kilometers. So 25 kilometers. All right, so I have this triangle. I have, what else do I have? I have the angle between this line and this line will be 130 minus 60 so let's call this angle um, should I call this just call it theta theta is 130 minus um, 130 minus 60 which is um, 70 degrees Okay, theta is 70 degrees. Right, so I have the length of this side, length of this side. So to figure out the other stuff in the triangle, I guess I'm going to have to use the cosine rule to work out, let's say, line A to C. This line here, I'm going to call it line AC. So to work out length of line AC, I'm just going to label it with the symbol A. Now using the cosine rule, A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC times cos A. All right, that's the cosine rule. And AC is side A, 25 is side doesn't matter which is which I'm just gonna call it side B side C and this angle is angle A okay so putting the numbers that I have in here right I got a squared is equal to 25 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 25 times 20 times cosine 70 Okay, so type all that into the calculator. And the answer is 
and 82.9798 blah 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 that's a squared now make sure your calculator is on degrees because the question is giving it to you in degrees not radians and then a is equal to the square root of that so that's 26.1 three three blah 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 kilometers so twenty six point one three three kilometers that's this line here so in order to figure out um, let's say this angle we're gonna now use the sine rule okay so this is angle C angle C so let's use a sine rule so we've got a over sine a equals B over sine B equals C over sine C so what do we have we have angle a and over sine a so angle a is uh, Oh, sorry side a over angle a so side a is 26.13 kilometers angle a is 70 degrees and we don't need the middle section all right so i have side c oh, sorry angle c is what i'm trying to find so i'll leave that as unknown and side C is 20 kilometers All right opposite sides and angles All right this angle sorry this side is opposite this angle All right this angle is opposite this side and this angle is opposite this side so those are the numbers we put into the formula so to find angle C to find this angle here, um, what we're going to do is rearrange this formula. So what I'm going to do is flip both fractions upside down. So sine C over 20 equals sine 70 over 26.13. And then I multiply 20 on the left. So sine 70 over 26.13 times 20 equals sine C and then whatever this equals I'm gonna inverse sign that I'm gonna inverse sign whatever this thing equals and then um, that'll give me the answer so let's put that into the calculator sine 70 over 26.13 times 20 put that in your calculator so I got 0 0.7192 blah 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 and then if I in sorry I'm inversing I haven't inverse signed that yet so that's inside the bracket so it's inverse sign all of that Alright, so inverse sign that and you will get 45.99 degrees, uh, two decimal places. Now you shouldn't round before you get to the final answer, so I'm just going to 45.99212 and so on. So that's the angle. In degrees so what do I have I have C I have this angle here is 45 point 99 okay so if I can get this angle right here I can simply go 360 which is the whole way around this point minus this angle and minus this angle 
So 360 going backwards minus this angle minus this angle. And that will give us what angle C is. So what is this angle? Well, using the first <clears throat> geometry rules that you guys learnt in year 9 or something. Okay, we have angles on parallel lines. Now, depending on how you guys learnt it, you would have learnt the Z rule, the F rule, um, whatever else, but basically, if you have a set of parallel lines, and you have a line going through it, a transversal, then this angle and this angle adds up to 180 degrees. Okay, so we got parallel lines here, the north and the north, these are parallel. And these two angles are what we call co interior angles. Co interior. Co interior angles on the same side of the transversal enclosed by the parallel lines. Some 180 degrees. So this angle and this angle must add up to 180, which means this angle here must be 180 minus 60, which is 120 degrees. Okay, so angle C, the bearing, uh, sorry, the bearing from bearing from C to A is therefore 360 minus 120 and minus 45.99 and that'll give us this. So minus 120 minus 45.99 and whatever it is after that, don't round till you get to the final answer. And the answer is 194 degrees. 194 degrees, rounded to the nearest whole number. Okay, I hope that helps you guys solve the problem. Alright, so bearing C is 194 degrees. Oh, sorry, bearing of A from C. So from C, from point C to point A, the angle here is 194 degrees. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.